Hey guys, what's up? Saren, just beginning the start of... We're gonna call it Potter Month. Fuck, I just can't think of anything better. Basically gonna be playing through the Harry Potter games this month. And starting us off is the Philosopher's Stone on the GameCube. There was nothing Except about for a half-drying on a flying motorcycle, I would usually suggest that strange and mysterious that things were on their way, if not, you know, slightly already strange. Hagrid, at last. And where did you get that motorbike? Borrowed it, Professor Dumbledore, sir. No problems, were there? No, sir. House was almost destroyed, but I got him out all right. Or for the next month, me. Nestled in the bundle was a baby. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful Aunt Petunia, Uncle Vernon, and cousin Dudley, the Dursleys. Then, one day, he received a letter inviting him to attend okay. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Told you, didn't I, Harry? Told you you was famous. Professor Quirrell. Harry, Professor Quirrell will be one of your teachers at Hogwarts. Potter, can't tell you how pleased I am to m meet you. What sort of magic do you teach, Professor Quirrell? D -d Defense against the d dark arts. Not that you need it, eh, P Potter? You'll be getting all your equipment, I suppose. I've got to pick up a new book on vampires myself. Must get on, lots to buy. Come on, Harry. Three up, two across. Right, stand back, Harry. Welcome to Diagon Alley. Just your wand left from Ollivander's. Oh yeah, and I still haven't got your birthday present. Hello? Good afternoon. Ah, yes. Yes, yes. I thought I'd be seeing you soon, Harry Potter. You have your mother's eyes. It seems only yesterday she was in here herself, buying her first wand. Ten and a quarter inches long, swishy, made of willow. Nice wand for charm work. Your father, on the other hand, favored a mahogany wand. Well, I say your father favored it. It's really the wand that chooses the wizard, of course. Well now, Mr. Potter, let's get started, shall we? If you'll kindly follow me, Have a look around, Mr. Potter. When you find a wand you like, pick it up, and let's see if it likes you. If you get anything along the lines of a phoenix feather, maybe in holly, 11 inches so it's nice and supple. Something along those lines should do me just fine. Suit me down to the ground. Sound as a pound. Anyway, let's check out what ones you got. Beechwood and dragon Ooh, heartstring. Beechwood and dragon heartstring. Let's, 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 let's give this a go. What we're gonna break? Stand over there. What we gonna break? We're gonna break something in Ollivander's shop. 
Swish! Oh Christ! My goodness! I blown. <laughs> okay. Ooh, they're changing now. Which one should we get now? Which one? Which one shall we get? I don't think I'm gonna get my one just yet. I might try the other one first. Just chill here for a little bit. Just quickly sorting something out. Sorry about the waiting. There we go. Okay. Holly and Phoenix Feather. Eleven yeah, it looks like Beechwood and nope. Dragon so Heartstring. This one is the Nine other one. Inch. Ebony and Unicorn. Ebony and Unicorn. Springy. Give it a go, I'll put it back. Uh, well, I was rating around doing fuck all, so. Phoenix fuck it, let's just do this one. 11 inches. Nice and supple. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. When I was standing still, not doing anything, um, it's pretty much me swing shout. Well, hey, activate the over flappy coattails of doom! A luminous and green light of destiny. But yeah, basically, when I'm standing around doing nothing, it's because I'm sorting out my audio. I'm having to resort or re-record or redo something because the audio on this just keeps cutting out and I can't figure out a way to stop it. So I'm just having to work around the kinks and try and, you know, do the best I can with the options I've been given. I remember every wand I've ever sold, Mr. Potter. Every single wand. It so happens that the Phoenix whose tail feather is in your wand, gave another feather. Just one other. It is very curious indeed that you should be destined for this wand when it's brother. Why its brother gave you that scar. Yes. Curious indeed how these things happen. The wand chooses the wizard, remember? I think we must expect great things from you, Mr. Potter. After all, he who must not be named did great things. Terrible, yes, but great. Please retrieve the spell book that lies beyond. It will prove most valuable in all that lies ahead. Over here, Mr. Potter. Okay. Okay, I'm going to apologise for this one, guys. This episode is going to be a bit tricky for me because I'm having to keep uh, re-switching on the audio equipment because Vegas Pro keeps cutting out and stopping itself from responding. So, that's kind of irritating. Okay, Curry. we're in on Lavanders. We are trying to get a spell, and if I remember correctly, it's the Flapendo spell. I'm also eating a bunch of, um, Betty Butts Air Flay Beans. I don't get the fact that he's going, mmm, you know, all these, all these weird, lovely, and horrible things, as if he's eating them, but then you keep them because they're currency at Fred and George's shop. That seems to make little sense to me. Why would you be like, ugh, you're not eating it? Liver? Marmalade. I'm not doing too badly. Usually Over one of them here. knocks me off every time. Still Ew. time to fuck mm. up though. Coffee. Oh. Like then. Sprouts. Now. Rib. Ugh. Liver. Pick up this Does he have nothing but bad ones? Pick. I will do, thank you. Seems like a good plan. Flipendo! Straight in your face! Oh, bravo! Yes, indeed. Oh, very good. Well done, Mr. Potter. Once you learn some more powerful magic, you'll be able to cast more powerful Flipendo knockback jinxes.
Okay, back again. Jesus, this is gonna get annoying. Okay, um... So yeah, basically every two and a bit minutes, or sometimes less than that, it just decides to cut out. I've got no clue why. Uh, uh, I don't know what to check, because I don't know what the possible problem could be. Um, when I get back from work, I'm gonna search up and see you know, if there's anything I can do. But, um, yeah, it's just proving quite problematic and a little irritating. So, Flipendo. This knockback jinx is the most utilitarian of spells in that it will allow the caster to knock back an opponent or object and can also be used to push and activate certain magical charm switches. Like many spells, Flipendo can be targeted using R. Okay, get me out kindly here. follow me. I will kindly follow you. I don't know why I'm kindly following you, but I'll do it. I will follow you. Where am I? Ooh. Oh, I pushed that one. Okay. Give me all the birdie bats. I want the beans. All over the floor. I'm going to eat them all. Every last one of them. I'm going to nom 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 on his birdie butt. Mm -hmm. Even though I can't technically nom on Earwax flavor. Yeah, that's bad and all, but there's a crawl space with my name on it. And it looks like there's a wizard's card with my name on it, too. Who to get? A wizard card! Oh, the audio hasn't cut out yet. Well, it has. It's cut out twice, but for the time, Felix the audio hasn't cut out. 1447 to 1508. Inventor of cheering charms. Thank you for the cheering charms, mate. All right, let's carry on. Wrong button. No, nope, right button. Just facing the wrong way. Let me out. Thank you. It's very, very kind. Just, just, just open, open sesame. Aloha mora. Somebody let me in. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> oh, sore throat. Not looking forward to work at all. But you know, who does? People that enjoy their jobs. Good answer. These three large shields on the far wall can be flipped using your flipendo knockback jinx. Flip them in the correct order. Okay. Order. The order is... Uh, okay, got it. So, could I... Could I... Could I... Simple enough. Before continuing, it may be wise to collect I the folio I will collect the folio blue tie. tie. Seems like a good idea. Imps. Oh, I knew it was imps. Goddamn cages should have tipped me off. Um, okay. The imp is sometimes confused with the pixie. They're of a similar height and both have a slapstick sense of humor. Imps are vicious little creatures. You will need to use the flipendo knockback jinx to knock them back before picking them up and throwing them into a hole like a gnome or into an open cage. If you'd kindly follow me.
A pumpkin pasty. A cauldron cake. Cast a spell while wounded. You need to target the shear on this device and continue to cast Flipendo at it until the central section locks into place. Mr. Potter. <laughs> With the knowledge contained in this book, you'll be able to cast more powerful spells. Here's a helpful hint from the book, just for you. Build up the power on your wand, but be careful. Don't overpower your spells, or you could end up in a spot of trouble. This time, I'd like you to power up the Flipendo spell before casting it. Like this. Flipendo! If you'd kindly follow me. Hey, Harry. Happy birthday, Harry. She's beautiful. What's her name? Her name's Hedwig, and she's yours to keep. Thanks, Hagrid. We best be going now. The Hogwarts Express is leaving very soon, and you don't want to miss it. The train slowed right down and finally stopped. They followed Hagrid down to the edge of a great black lake. The fleet of little boats moved off all at once gliding across the lake, which was as smooth as glass. Everyone was silent until... Wicked! One by one, each of the first years was sorted into his or her house. And what of Harry Potter? Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin, eh? Are you sure? You could be great, you know. It's all here, in your head. Well, if you're sure, better be 
Gryffindor. Hey, Harry. Hello. I'm Ron Weasley. I'm in Gryffindor too. It's no surprise, really. All my brothers are in Gryffindor. So why do you think Professor Dumbledore put the third for House of Bounds? I really don't know. We've got to follow that prefect. It's odd, because he usually gives us a reason why we're not allowed to go somewhere. I do think he might have told us prefects at least. That prefect's Percy, my other brother. How many brothers have you got? Too many. My name's Hermione Granger, by the way. And you are? Uh, Ron. Ron Weasley. Pleasure. You've got something on your nose. Huh? You must be Harry Potter. I know all about you, of course. Look out! Filch is coming. We'd better go. Gryffindors, follow me, please. Keep up. Come on, Harry. We'd better follow Percy up to the Gryffindor common room. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. This is the most direct path to the dormitory. Oh, and keep an eye on the staircases. They like to change. Follow me, everyone. Keep up. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. Poltergeist. <laughs> Ooh, hickle firsties. What fun. <laughs> Go away, Peeves, or the Baron will hear about this. I mean it. You want to watch out for Peeves. The bloody Baron's the only one who can control him. He won't even listen to us prefects. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. Over here, Harry. Follow me, everyone. Keep up. Gather round here. Password? You need a password to enter the common room. This year, it's Caput Draconis. Caput Draconis. Well done, young Gryffindor. That is indeed the correct password. Thanks, Harry. Password? Caput Draconis. Well done, young Gryffindor. That is indeed the correct password. Hey, Harry. Fred and Joe just set up a shop. You can trade all kinds of things with them. The spells are really wicked stuff. Wow. I must go and see them. Where are they? Go through that door and through the reading room. There's a portrait on the other side. What's the password? Pig snout. Oh, and watch out for Percy. He hates being disturbed when he's studying. You'll need to stay out of his way. If you're careful, 
You should be able to creep past him. You really should go and see Fred and George, Harry. They've got some brilliant stuff to trade. Chase you around. Okay, sorry about that, the audio cut out again, so you probably haven't heard me for a while. Um, did I just go back out into the thing? Oh god, I need to go back in there. Oh no, I am back in here. Okay. Let me Snout. in, let me in. Thank you. Oh my god, this is part one is being totally annoying. Hello, Damn you, Harry. Vegas Pro. We were wondering when you turn up. Welcome to our shop. Feel free to browse our extensive range kind. of wizard wheezes and magical merchandise. Everything priced at reasonable rates in the only currency universally accepted throughout Hogwarts. Bertie bots every flavor beans. And, as a special bonus, for just 10 beans you can have a dip into this chest and receive a special prize. Wow! I've got to try this! It sounds like fun, yes. But then, you haven't put your hand in yet. Have a good look around, Harry. And if you want to buy anything, just ask. Okay. Anything we want? Wizard card, dung bombs. What's that? How much is this Bertie Bot's bean carrying bag? Okay, I say collect 50 beans. beans and then come back. But for now, I'll take you, whoever you are. This is the Bertie Bot card. I remember you get a Bertie Bot card around here somewhere. A wizard card! Nope, that's not the Bertie Bot card. Sorry, I just got a huge amount of chest pain. Um... How much is the Edgar Strulger card? It'll cost 30 beans. Ah, oh, there it is. The limited edition Bertie Bot card. What does that cost? It'll cost 50 beans. You can come back as often Thank as you, you like. Thank you, I will, we'll but first I have to get past Percy and get back to the common room. Come here. Oh, god damn it. Leave me alone, Harry. And yet you don't let me walk away. Around. Oh, god damn you, Percy. I'm initially so close to finishing the goddamn thing, and Percy is the only thing standing in my way. Fuck you! Locomotor Mortis! Come here! That camera angle screws you a little bit sometimes. Okay, Harry. Sounds like a good idea. Wish I could do that, but I've got work. So, guys, I think this is going to be end of part one of the Order of Phoenix. I'm really sorry about the audio difficulties. Hopefully, I'll be able to have them sorted out. But I have a feeling they'll attack me again in the future because they've done it in the past and they've somehow rectified themselves. So, um, moving on to the next day. Um, please comment, give me any feedback, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Laters.